Um, we must firstly congratulate you and your publisher on the amazing work that's occurred in the last, is it two, two years or so, is it? You've been with... It's only, would you believe, only a year. 2020, this all started to happen. Really? Mm -hmm. So you, you, I mean, obviously you, you've, you've had books published for 21 years with at least three publishers, uh, Hodder and Stoughton, Little Brown under one of their imprints and Pam Macmillan. And Pam Macmillan. Macmillan. So, you know, you, yeah. you've, you've had books published by lots of publishers that, you know, have been going for years. Now, a few years ago, your publisher, they're quite new, aren't they? They've only been going about four or five years, maybe, is it? It isn't long, um, but they clearly know what they're doing. <laughs> they do go and buy what they've done for you and what I've seen that they're doing for other people. So they're called Joffe Books. Yeah, it's and... Joffe Books. And um, I approached them, actually, because um, I had these nine books, uh, which had already been published under my own name, Margaret Murphy. And I had two books that I had completed, well, between 2007 and 2010 or 11, somewhere around there, which I could not place. Um, Before He Kills Again, which is actually this one here, and I think, I don't know if you've got it on screen, but Before He Kills Again originated way back in those sort of mid to late 2000s. And it's based around um, a psychoanalytic Psycho, um, psychotherapist who teams up with a, a DC in Liverpool after um, a series of abductions happen. So we've got a serial predator and this DC, Cassie Rowan, teams up with Alan Palmer to, to work on the um, what's happening here because no one believes that Cassie has got the right idea, but she's pretty bloody minded and she carries on going and gets herself in a lot of trouble in the meantime. Now I completed that book, as I say, around 2009, 10. And um, I submitted it through my agent and the publishers loved it. It must've gone out to over a dozen. Every one of them praised it to the skies and every one of them declined. You can't so, win there, can you? <laughs> well, yeah, it's a tricky one, isn't it, really? So I, I just, I was so frustrated. I, Anne Cleves had read it and she loved it. Um, and the late, great Reginald Hill, oh, wow. Reg Hill, yeah. as we knew him, um, read it and loved it as well. And he said to me at the time, look, don't give up on this book. You really shouldn't, it's a really good book. and." In his words, and these are his words, not mine, he said, the publishers are fools to turn it down. So that has been in my mind for a long, long time. Yeah. And as I say, I can be bloody minded. <laughs> so when I saw what Joffy Books were doing with other authors and bringing back their backlist and making people excited to read the backlist oh, of, of authors. What they're doing is phenomenal. in Kindle before. Mm. Um, and I approached them direct and I said, might you be interested? And, um, and they, they were very interested and, and they started with the, the backlist. And I did say to them, look, I think I need to rewrite the two new books. And they gave me as much time as I needed. No pressure at all. I worked on Before He Kills Again. Now, this was at the beginning of lockdown. So in sort of beginning of spring through to I think probably around May, June, I was working on the rewrite of Before He Kills Again. And then I submitted it to them. And bearing in mind that 12 or more publishers had already turned it down, I was extremely nervous. And because I have lupus, I'm um, considered extremely vulnerable. So I was shielding. So I couldn't even go out for a proper walk. We were being told at the time to stay indoors and just have one walk a day. So I was making and mending and baking and growing and trying anything I could to distract myself because I was convinced that they weren't going to like it. But they did. Not only did they like it, they loved it. And they've done just brilliant things with it. Superb cover, as you can see in the, the background there. But also the marketing has been fantastic for it 
they've really got behind it. Um, to date, it has over 700 reviews on Amazon with a, a average of 4.3 stars. So, you know, could it get any better? Um, and I do feel somewhat vindicated too. <laughs> I bet you do. But isn't it nice that it, it's working? Yeah.